Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will explore together the fascinating intersection of human psychology and intimate behavior, especially as it relates to women, we uncover a wealth of insights that help us understand the dynamics of intimacy on a much deeper level. It's like peeling back the layers of what really makes us tick when it comes to closeness and connection. For instance, research has shown that men often feel a heightened sense of pleasure during intimate moments when positioned behind women who have fuller hips. This discovery isn't just about physical attraction, it highlights the intricate dance between what we find visually appealing and how that translates into emotional and physical satisfaction. But let's go a bit deeper. It's not just about the physical aspects. When women go through extended periods without engaging in intimate activities, some studies suggest that this could potentially accelerate the aging process. This points to the significant role that intimacy plays, not just in emotional well-being but also in maintaining our overall physical vitality. It's a reminder that our bodies and minds are deeply interconnected, and that neglecting one aspect can have surprising effects on the other. Are you ready? Let's get started. When a woman is deeply connected with her partner, her body starts to express that connection in ways that are almost poetic. For instance, her muscles might begin to tighten and release in rhythm with the emotions she's feeling. This isn't just some random physical reaction, it's the body's way of matching the depth of the emotional experience. It's like the body is dancing to the tune of intimacy, syncing up with the intensity of the moment. This natural rhythm is what makes the experience so unique and powerful because it shows just how closely linked our bodies are to our emotions. But there's more to it than just the physical responses. Intimacy is also about the emotional and psychological landscape that comes into play during these moments. For example, if someone suddenly pulls away or reacts unexpectedly, it could be a sign that something doesn't feel right. Maybe there's discomfort, hesitation, or even fear. This is why trust is so incredibly important. Without trust, it's hard to fully engage in the experience. Trust allows you to be vulnerable, to let go of your fears, and to truly connect with your partner on a deeper level. It's what makes intimacy not just possible, but deeply fulfilling. Now, consider the trust that's involved when a woman engages in more intimate acts, like consuming semen. This can be a profound gesture of trust, showing a deep level of connection that goes beyond just the physical. It's an expression of comfort and security within the relationship, a way of saying, I trust you completely. And it's not just about the act itself, but about the emotional connection that it represents. This level of trust and comfort is what makes these moments so meaningful, as it reflects a relationship that's built on mutual respect and care. Another aspect of intimacy that's worth exploring is the way some women prepare themselves before engaging in deeper physical connection. For many, this involves gentle self-stimulation, which isn't just about physical arousal. It's also about getting in the right headspace, calming the mind, and preparing the body for what's to come. This act of self-care is crucial because it highlights the importance of feeling ready, both mentally and physically before fully engaging in intimacy. It's a way of ensuring that the experience is positive, comfortable, and enjoyable from start to finish. Comfort, after all, is a key ingredient in any intimate encounter. When someone takes the time to ensure they're comfortable and ready, it sets the stage for a more fulfilling experience. It's about creating an environment where both partners can fully relax and enjoy the moment, without any underlying tension or anxiety. This preparation, this attention to comfort, is what helps to make intimacy a shared experience that's both enjoyable and meaningful. But let's talk about the emotional side of things because that's where the true depth of intimacy lies. It's not just about the physical connection, it's about being emotionally in tune with your partner. 
If there's a strong emotional bond, it makes the physical connection that much more powerful. On the flip side, if someone isn't feeling emotionally connected, it can make intimacy feel hollow or unfulfilling. That's why building that emotional foundation is so crucial, it's what allows you to be fully present and engaged in those intimate moments. Communication is another important piece of the puzzle. During intimacy, communication isn't always verbal, it can be as simple as a touch, a look, or a gesture. These nonverbal cues are often the most powerful because they speak directly to the heart. They convey understanding, reassurance, and affection in ways that words sometimes can't. Being able to read and respond to these cues is essential for creating a deep and meaningful connection during intimacy. Physical touch itself is an incredible form of communication. Each touch, each caress, is like a sentence in a conversation. It's a way of saying, I'm here with you, I'm connected to you. It's through these touches that partners build a bond, deepening their connection with each movement. It's not just about the sensation, it's about the message that each touch conveys. This is what makes touch such a powerful element of intimacy, it's a way of expressing feelings that might be too deep or complex to put into words. Then there's the concept of pacing, which is so important in any intimate experience. Everyone has their own pace, their own rhythm that feels natural to them. When partners are able to sync up and move together at a pace that feels right for both, it creates a sense of harmony and flow. It's like dancing with someone who knows exactly how to move with you, there's no rush, no dragging, just a smooth, shared rhythm that allows the experience to unfold naturally and beautifully. Trust also allows for exploration within intimacy. When there's a strong foundation of trust, partners feel safe to explore new things together, whether that's trying something new or just being more open with their feelings. This exploration can lead to deeper understanding and a stronger bond. It's this freedom to explore, without fear of judgment, that makes intimacy such a rich and rewarding experience. Vulnerability is another key element of intimacy. Being truly intimate with someone means being willing to show them parts of yourself that you might normally keep hidden. It's about being open and honest, even when it feels risky. This kind of vulnerability is what deepens the connection between partners, making the experience of intimacy not just a physical act, but a sharing of souls. When both partners are able to be vulnerable and trust each other completely, it creates a feedback loop of positive reinforcement. Each moment of intimacy strengthens the bond between them, deepens their connection, and builds a foundation of mutual respect and affection. This is what makes intimacy so powerful, it's not just about the physical pleasure, it's about the emotional and psychological connection that grows with each experience. And after the moment has passed, the importance of aftercare cannot be overstated. Taking the time to connect afterward, whether it's through holding each other, talking, or simply being together in silence, helps to solidify the bond that's been created. It's a way of continuing the connection beyond the physical act, of ensuring that both partners feel safe, loved, and appreciated. It is a complex and multifaceted experience that involves every part of us, mind, body, and soul. It's about trust, communication, emotional readiness, and so much more. When all these elements come together, they create something truly profound, something that goes beyond just the physical connection and touches the very core of our being. This is what makes intimacy such a powerful and meaningful part of our lives. You know, the human body has this incredible way of expressing what's going on inside during those intimate moments. It's like a language of its own, especially when a woman is really in tune with her emotions and her partner. Her body can respond in ways that are almost like a dance, muscles contracting in sync with the intensity of the feelings she's experiencing. This isn't just some automatic reaction, it's the body's way of mirroring the emotional depth of the moment. It's as if her body is saying, I'm fully here, 
fully present, and it's amazing how these physical reactions are so closely tied to what she's feeling inside. But intimacy isn't just about what's happening on the surface, is it? There's so much more going on beneath the physical sensations. Sometimes, if there's a sudden reaction, like a flinch or pulling away, it can be a sign that something's not quite right. Maybe there's a bit of discomfort, or perhaps something doesn't feel safe. This is where trust comes in. Without that solid foundation of trust, it's really hard to relax and fully engage in the experience. Trust is what allows both partners to be vulnerable, to let go of any fears, and to truly connect in a way that's meaningful and deep. And speaking of trust, think about how profound it is when a woman chooses to engage in an act like consuming semen. This isn't just a physical gesture, it's a powerful expression of trust and connection. It's about feeling secure enough to share something so intimate to let down her guard and fully participate in the experience. This kind of trust goes beyond just the physical, it speaks to a deeper emotional bond, one where both partners feel safe and respected. It's these moments of trust that really deepen the connection between two people, making the experience not just pleasurable, but truly meaningful. Then there's the way some women like to prepare themselves before getting closer to their partner. For many, this involves a little bit of self-care, maybe some gentle self-stimulation. This isn't just about getting the body ready, it's also about calming the mind, setting the stage for a positive and comfortable experience. Taking this time to get in the right headspace shows how important it is to feel both physically and mentally prepared for intimacy. It's a way of making sure that the whole experience is enjoyable, from the anticipation to the actual connection. Comfort is such a crucial part of this. When someone takes the time to ensure they're comfortable, both mentally and physically, it allows them to fully engage in the moment without any distractions or anxieties. This sense of comfort creates a safe space where intimacy can flourish, where both partners can really enjoy being with each other. It's about more than just the act itself, it's about creating an experience that feels good from start to finish, one that leaves both partners feeling fulfilled and connected. But we can't talk about intimacy without talking about the emotional connection that underlies it all. Intimacy is so much more than just a physical connection, it's about being emotionally in sync with your partner. When that emotional bond is strong, the physical connection takes on a whole new level of meaning. It becomes not just about the sensations, but about the feelings and the connection that are shared between two people. On the other hand, if there's a disconnect on an emotional level, the physical act can feel empty or unsatisfying. That's why nurturing that emotional connection is so important, it's what makes intimacy feel rich and rewarding. Communication is also key during these moments. And I don't just mean talking, although that can be important too. Sometimes, the most powerful communication happens without words. A touch, a look, a gentle gesture, these are all ways of communicating how you feel, of showing your partner that you're present and engaged. These nonverbal cues can speak volumes, often conveying more than words ever could. Being attuned to these signals helps to create a deeper connection, one that's built on understanding and mutual respect. Physical touch itself is such a powerful form of communication. Each touch, each caress, is like a conversation between two people. It's a way of expressing feelings, of saying, I'm here with you, I'm connected to you. When partners are attuned to each other's touch, it deepens the bond between them, making the experience of intimacy even more profound. It's not just about the physical sensation, it's about the message that each touch conveys, the connection that it reinforces. Another important aspect of intimacy is pacing. Everyone has their own rhythm, their own pace at which they feel comfortable moving through these moments. When partners are able to tune in to each other's pace, it creates a sense of harmony. 
It's like a dance, where both partners move together in sync, allowing the experience to unfold naturally and beautifully. Rushing through intimacy can create tension or anxiety, but when there's a shared rhythm, it helps both partners to relax and fully enjoy the moment. Trust plays a big role in this as well. When there's a solid foundation of trust, it opens up the possibility for exploration. Partners feel safe to try new things, to express themselves fully, knowing that they won't be judged or rejected. This kind of trust creates a space where intimacy can be both exciting and comforting, where both partners can feel free to be themselves. It's this trust that allows intimacy to be not just an act, but an experience that deepens the connection between two people. Vulnerability is another essential part of intimacy. Being intimate with someone means being willing to show them parts of yourself that you might normally keep hidden. It's about being open, being honest, even when it feels a little scary. This kind of vulnerability is what deepens the connection, what makes intimacy not just a physical act, but a sharing of souls. When both partners are willing to be vulnerable, it creates a powerful bond that can strengthen the relationship in profound ways. This vulnerability, when met with trust and understanding, creates a positive feedback loop. Each moment of intimacy reinforces the bond, deepens the connection, and builds a foundation of mutual respect and affection. It's this cycle of trust, vulnerability, and connection that makes intimacy so powerful. It's not just about the pleasure of the moment, it's about the way each experience strengthens the relationship, making it more resilient and fulfilling over time. And after the moment has passed, the importance of aftercare can't be overstated. Taking the time to reconnect afterward, whether it's through holding each other, talking, or just being together in silence, helps to solidify the bond that's been created. It's a way of ensuring that both partners feel valued and cared for, that the connection doesn't just end with the physical act. This aftercare is an essential part of the intimate experience, one that helps to maintain the emotional connection that's been built. All right, let's talk about something that's both fascinating and deeply connected to how we perceive ourselves and engage with others. When we consider physical attributes and how they relate to a woman's interest in intimate experiences, there's an intriguing observation, women with fuller figures, particularly larger buttocks, often display a heightened interest in intimacy. Now, this isn't just about appearance. It goes far beyond that, it's about how body image and self-perception influence a woman's desires and how she engages in relationships. When a woman feels confident and comfortable in her body, it can naturally lead to a more open and enthusiastic approach to intimate connections. It's as if her body's fullness mirrors a richness in her emotional and physical engagement. This connection between body image and intimacy is complex. A woman who embraces her physical attributes, who sees her curves not as something to hide but as something to celebrate, often finds herself more in tune with her desires. There's a kind of empowerment that comes with accepting and loving one's body. It's this self-assurance that can heighten her interest in exploring intimacy, making her more present and engaged during these moments. The way we see ourselves can profoundly affect how we connect with others, especially in the most personal aspects of our lives. Now, let's consider another aspect of this connection, self-pleasure. Women who regularly engage in self-pleasure tend to experience heightened pleasure during shared intimate moments. This is because they're more familiar with their bodies, more aware of what brings them joy and satisfaction. It's like a form of self-discovery that enhances the overall experience when they're with a partner. This self-awareness is crucial in intimate relationships, as it allows for a deeper, more meaningful connection. It's not just about the physical act, it's about understanding and communicating what feels good, what brings happiness, and how to share that with someone else. There's a profound connection between our bodies and minds that plays a critical role in intimacy. 
When we understand and appreciate our physical selves, it opens the door to more fulfilling and satisfying experiences with others. It's a reminder that intimacy isn't just a physical act, it's a dance between the body and the mind, where both must be in harmony to create a truly meaningful connection. This harmony is what makes these moments so special, so impactful. Interestingly, studies have shown that prolonged periods without intimate encounters might accelerate the aging process in women. This finding suggests that intimacy is far more than just a pleasurable activity, it's something that has far-reaching effects on our overall well-being. The body responds to touch, to connection, in ways that go beyond the surface. It's not just about how we look, but how we feel, both inside and out. Intimacy has the power to rejuvenate, to keep us feeling vibrant and alive. It's a testament to the importance of maintaining those connections, of nurturing our relationships and our bodies. Touch, after all, is a fundamental human need. It's something that nourishes us, that keeps us grounded and connected. When we experience regular, positive touch, it can have a rejuvenating effect on our bodies. This isn't just about avoiding the physical signs of aging, it's about maintaining a sense of vitality and well-being that permeates every aspect of our lives. It's a reminder that intimacy isn't a luxury, it's a necessity for our health and happiness. Speaking of physical responses, there's something particularly interesting about the spontaneous tremors that women may experience during intimate moments. These tremors are often subtle, yet they signal something quite significant, a return to consciousness or awareness. It's as if, in those moments of deep connection, there's a resurgence of presence, a kind of awakening that's often overlooked but is very much a part of the experience. It's a reminder that even in the most intense moments, the mind and body are still deeply connected, still communicating with each other. These tremors are more than just physical reactions, they're a sign that the woman is fully engaged, fully present in the moment. It's a way of the body saying, I'm here, I'm aware, and I'm experiencing this fully. This heightened presence can make the experience even more meaningful, as it allows for a deeper connection between partners. It's about being in the moment, about letting go of distractions and truly embracing the experience. And in that presence, there's a kind of beauty, a kind of clarity that can make these moments even more powerful. The relationship between our bodies and our minds is deeply intertwined, especially when it comes to intimacy. When we're fully present, fully aware of what's happening, it creates a connection that goes beyond the physical. It's about being in tune with our own desires and emotions, and with those of our partner. This awareness, this presence, is what makes intimacy so much more than just a physical act. It's a shared experience, a meeting of minds and bodies that creates something truly special. Over time, as women become more comfortable with their bodies and their desires, these moments of connection can become even more fulfilling. There's a kind of wisdom that comes with experience, a deeper understanding of what feels good, what brings joy, and how to share that with a partner. This understanding can make each encounter richer, more meaningful, more satisfying. It's about growth, about learning, and about becoming more in tune with ourselves and our partners. When a woman is comfortable in her own skin, when she understands and appreciates her body, it can lead to a more confident and satisfying intimate life. This confidence is attractive, not just to her partner, but to herself. It's about embracing who she is, about celebrating her body and her desires. This self-love is the foundation of a fulfilling intimate life, one that's rich with connection and satisfaction. And let's not forget the role of anticipation in all of this. When there's a strong sense of desire, a longing for connection, it can make the experience even more intense, even more satisfying. Anticipation builds excitement, it heightens awareness, and it makes the moment of connection that much more powerful. It's like a crescendo, building up to something beautiful and profound. 
This anticipation, this longing, is a natural part of intimacy, and it's something that can make each encounter feel fresh, exciting, and new. It's fascinating to see how different the experience can be for men and women, especially when it comes to reaching that sense of fulfillment. It's not just a straightforward process, it's more of a journey that unfolds gradually, and understanding this can really change how we approach these moments. For women, in particular, it often takes a bit more time to fully reach that state of satisfaction. Research suggests it's about 25 minutes on average, which might sound like a long time, but it's really an opportunity to savor the connection and make it truly meaningful. This extended time isn't just about prolonging the experience for the sake of it. It's about giving each other the space to explore, to build anticipation, and to deepen the connection. When you're patient and present, it allows both partners to really tune into each other's needs and desires. For women, this patience can be incredibly important because it shows attentiveness and care, which are key to feeling satisfied on a deeper level. It's like slowly peeling back the layers of an onion, each layer reveals more about what brings joy and pleasure. One of the ways to enhance this journey is through the kind of stimulation that's involved, and for many women, oral stimulation can be a powerful way to add richness to the experience. It's not just a physical act, it's about creating a symphony of sensations that build upon one another. Imagine it as adding different spices to a dish, each one enhancing the flavor and making the overall experience more complex and satisfying. It's an intimate dance that requires both partners to be in sync, and when done with care and attention, it can be profoundly fulfilling. Now, let's talk about the setting, because the environment in which intimacy occurs can have a huge impact on how satisfying it is. A lot of women find that a darker, cozier environment helps them to relax and feel more at ease. It's like creating a private sanctuary where everything else fades away, and all that's left is the connection between you and your partner. Think of it as setting the stage for a performance, when the lighting is just right, and the surroundings are comfortable, it allows the focus to be entirely on each other, which can significantly enhance the sense of closeness. But it's not just about the physical environment, it's also about the emotional atmosphere. For women, feeling emotionally connected to their partner is often just as important, if not more so, than the physical act itself. When there's a strong emotional bond, it creates a foundation of trust and understanding that can make the intimate experience feel safer, more meaningful, and ultimately more satisfying. It's like the difference between hearing a song and really feeling it, when you're emotionally in tune with each other, every note resonates more deeply. Communication plays a crucial role in this process. Being able to talk openly about what feels good, what's enjoyable, and what might need a little adjustment can make all the difference. It's not always easy to have these conversations, but when you can discuss your desires and needs without fear of judgment, it strengthens the connection and makes the experience more fulfilling. For many women, knowing that their partner is willing to listen and adjust based on their feedback is incredibly reassuring, and it can lead to a much more satisfying experience. There's also the importance of taking your time. Rushing through the process can leave both partners feeling unfulfilled, like something essential was missed. But when you slow down and really take the time to be with each other, to explore each other's bodies and minds, it creates a richer, more rewarding experience. It's like enjoying a fine wine, you don't just gulp it down, you savor it, letting each sip linger and deepen the experience. And let's not overlook the power of touch. Gentle, thoughtful touch can be incredibly powerful in building anticipation and enhancing the overall experience. It's not just about where you touch, but how you touch. A soft caress, a lingering kiss, or even just holding each other close can build a sense of intimacy that makes the entire experience feel more connected and satisfying. For women, these touches can be particularly important in creating a sense of being cared for and cherished. Another aspect that can't be ignored is the importance of relaxation. 
Stress and tension are the enemies of intimacy, especially for women. Creating an environment where both partners feel relaxed and free from distractions is crucial. Whether it's through soft music, gentle lighting, or even just taking a moment to breathe together before things progress, these small steps can help to create a space where intimacy can truly flourish. When the body is relaxed, the mind can be fully present, and that's when real satisfaction can happen. Emotional intimacy is another key factor. For many women, feeling emotionally close to their partner can enhance the physical experience. It's about feeling loved, appreciated, and understood on a deeper level. When that emotional connection is strong, it can make the physical aspect of intimacy even more fulfilling. It's like having a solid foundation, everything else builds on top of that, making the experience more stable and satisfying. Outside the bedroom, the little gestures matter too. Holding hands, sharing a laugh, or just spending quality time together can build a sense of closeness that carries over into those intimate moments. It's about creating a continuous thread of connection that weaves through your relationship. These small acts of affection can build anticipation and make those private moments even more special. It's like adding pieces to a puzzle, each one brings you closer to completing the picture. And then there's the mental aspect. Being mentally present, focused on the moment, and in tune with your partner's needs can make a huge difference in how satisfying the experience is. It's not just about what you do but how you do it. When both partners are fully engaged, it creates a synergy that can lead to a much more fulfilling experience. For women, knowing that their partner is mentally and emotionally invested can make the experience feel more intimate and meaningful. And finally, it's about balance. Satisfaction in intimacy isn't just about reaching a physical goal, it's about the entire experience, emotional, mental, and physical. When you approach it with patience, attentiveness, and a willingness to explore and communicate, it can lead to a much deeper connection. It's like crafting a beautiful piece of art, each stroke, each detail adds to the final masterpiece. Now, imagine this scenario, a woman is lying in bed, facing away from her partner. On the surface, it might seem like just a simple sleeping position, but there's more going on here. You see, when she turns her back, it can create this subtle but powerful illusion. It's as if that small distance between their bodies heightens the sense of attraction. It's almost like the space between them adds a layer of mystery, something that makes the moment even more intriguing. Our minds are wired in a way that makes us interpret closeness and distance in fascinating ways, especially in intimate moments. The body's response to these perceptions can be quite profound, almost as if that physical separation makes the eventual closeness even more electrifying. Let's talk about the sounds a woman might make during these intimate moments. It's not just about the sounds themselves, it's what they signify that's truly intriguing. For many women, these sounds, whether they're soft, spontaneous, or even unexpected, serve as a kind of feedback loop. It's like the body's way of saying, yes, this feels good, not just to the partner but also as a self-affirmation. These sounds can be incredibly telling. They're not just noises, they're expressions of pleasure and satisfaction. It's almost as if the body is speaking its own language, and understanding this language can deepen the connection between partners. It's fascinating how these auditory cues can create a shared experience, reinforcing the emotional and physical bond. Now, let's move into the territory of desire. Desire is such a powerful force, and it plays a crucial role in a woman's experience of intimacy. When a woman feels a strong sense of desire, it often translates into her willingness to engage in certain acts, like oral stimulation. This isn't just about the physical act itself, but about what it represents, a deepening connection between partners. Desire fuels the experience, making it more intense, more fulfilling. 
It's a delicate balance, really. The more a woman feels desired and desires in return, the more likely she is to engage fully, which in turn, makes the whole experience richer for both partners. There's also something incredibly complex about how our bodies respond during these intimate moments. Take, for example, the way a woman's muscles contract during an orgasm. It's not just a physical reaction, it's like the body's way of mirroring the emotional intensity of the moment. These contractions are a powerful signal of pleasure, almost like the body's way of reinforcing the emotional connection. But it's not just about the pleasure, understanding the body's signals of discomfort is just as important. For instance, if a woman suddenly shifts or moves in a certain way, it might indicate that something doesn't feel quite right. Being attuned to these cues can foster a deeper sense of trust and respect between partners. It's about creating a space where both partners feel safe and understood. Another aspect that often gets overlooked is how a woman's sense of comfort can influence her experience of pleasure. When she feels truly comfortable, emotionally, physically, and mentally, she's more likely to fully engage in the moment. Comfort is like the foundation upon which desire and pleasure are built. Without it, the experience can feel incomplete. It's interesting how this sense of comfort can be communicated through subtle cues, like body language or even the tone of voice. When a woman feels comfortable, it's like her body and mind are in sync, allowing her to fully embrace the experience. And speaking of body language, it's fascinating how much is communicated without words. A woman's body can tell a story all on its own, from the way she moves to the way she positions herself. These nonverbal cues can speak volumes about what she's feeling in the moment. For instance, if she leans in closer or arches her back, it might be a sign of heightened arousal. On the other hand, if she pulls away or seems tense, it could indicate discomfort. Being able to read these cues is key to creating a satisfying experience for both partners. It's like learning a new language, one that's rich in meaning and nuance. Now, let's consider the role of anticipation in these moments. Anticipation can be incredibly powerful, almost as if it amplifies the experience. When a woman knows something pleasurable is about to happen, her body starts to respond even before the act itself. This buildup of anticipation can make the eventual experience even more intense. It's like the body and mind are getting ready, heightening the senses and making the moment feel that much more fulfilling. Anticipation is a beautiful thing, it adds a layer of excitement and can make the experience feel more profound. And what about the emotional connection that often accompanies physical intimacy? For many women, this emotional bond is just as important as the physical aspect, if not more so. When there's a strong emotional connection, it can make the physical experience feel more meaningful. It's as if the emotions are woven into the fabric of the experience, making it richer, deeper, this emotional connection is often communicated through touch, through eye contact, through the way partners interact with each other. It's not just about the physical act, it's about what it represents, love, trust, intimacy. Speaking of touch, let's not forget how powerful it can be. A simple touch can convey so much, desire, affection, reassurance. The way a woman is touched during these moments can have a profound impact on her experience. Gentle, thoughtful touch can make her feel cherished, desired, and loved. It's like the body's way of communicating without words, reinforcing the emotional connection. Touch is a powerful tool in the language of intimacy, one that can create a sense of closeness and trust. And then there's the concept of mutual satisfaction, Intimacy isn't just about one person's pleasure, it's about creating an experience that's fulfilling for both partners. When both people are attuned to each other's needs and desires, it can create a beautiful synergy. 
It's about giving and receiving, about understanding each other on a deeper level. This mutual satisfaction can make the experience feel more complete, more satisfying. It's like a dance, where both partners are in sync, moving together in harmony. Let's not overlook the role of communication in all of this. Open, honest communication is key to a fulfilling experience. When a woman feels comfortable expressing her needs and desires, it can enhance the experience for both partners. It's about creating a space where both people feel heard and understood. This kind of communication can strengthen the bond between partners, making the experience feel more intimate, more connected. It's about being vulnerable, about sharing a part of yourself with someone else. When you take all these elements together, desire, comfort, anticipation, emotional connection, touch, communication, they come together to create a rich, fulfilling experience. Intimacy is a complex, beautiful dance that speaks to the depth of human connection. It's about understanding each other, being present in the moment, and creating a space where both partners feel cherished and loved. It's a journey, one that is constantly evolving and deepening, and one that has the power to bring people closer together in ways that are both profound and lasting. Take a closer look at the role of self-exploration. When women take the time to understand their own bodies, especially through self-pleasure, they often find that their ability to experience pleasure during intimate moments with a partner is enhanced. It's as if getting in tune with one's own responses allows for a better understanding of what brings pleasure. This self-awareness is crucial because it empowers women to communicate their needs and preferences to their partners. In this way, embracing one's body and exploring its capabilities can lead to more fulfilling and deeply satisfying shared experiences. The topic of duration in intimate encounters is another important aspect to consider. Typically, men might last anywhere between 11 to 14 minutes during intimate moments. However, this duration doesn't always align with what women might need to feel completely fulfilled. You see, the issue isn't just about how long the encounter lasts, it's also about the depth of connection, mutual understanding, and communication between partners. If one partner is left feeling unsatisfied, it's vital for both to engage in open and honest discussions about their needs. Through such conversations, couples can discover new ways to ensure that both partners feel gratified, ultimately strengthening their emotional and physical bond. Another interesting angle to explore is standing intimacy. Some women find that engaging in intimate acts while standing can significantly heighten arousal and satisfaction. The physicality of standing might offer a different type of stimulation that aligns more closely with their personal preferences. Everyone's body responds differently to various positions and scenarios, and for some, this standing position introduces an element of excitement and novelty that enhances the overall experience. It's a reminder of how individual preferences can vary widely, and how exploring these differences can lead to new and enriching dimensions within a relationship. Regular intimate activities, particularly those that involve frequent orgasms, can also have unexpected health benefits for women. For instance, some women report experiencing reduced pain during their menstrual cycles when they engage in these activities regularly. It's almost as if the body is rewarding these experiences by offering relief from other discomforts. This connection between intimate activity and physical well-being underscores the importance of maintaining a healthy, active intimate life. It's not just about pleasure, it's also about nurturing one's overall health and well-being through these connections. When we talk about physical features like breast size and their connection to arousal, it's important to recognize the complexity of this relationship. Some women with smaller breasts might find it more challenging to experience arousal, but it's essential to remember that arousal is influenced by a complex interplay of physical, emotional, and psychological factors. It's not just about the size or shape of a body part, it's about how a woman feels about herself, how her partner makes her feel, 
and the emotional connection they share. Interestingly, even less obvious physical responses, like the swelling of the inner nose during arousal, remind us just how interconnected and sensitive our bodies truly are. Psychological research into women's intimate behavior reveals a landscape of incredible depth and complexity. It shows us that physical traits, emotional states, and psychological factors are all intricately woven together in shaping intimate experiences. By delving into these nuances, partners can develop a deeper understanding of each other's needs and desires. This, in turn, leads to more fulfilling and meaningful experiences, where both partners feel valued and satisfied. It's a reminder that intimacy is not just a physical act but an emotional and psychological connection that requires understanding and mutual respect. One of the key takeaways from all of this is the importance of communication in a relationship. When partners are able to talk openly about their needs, desires, and even insecurities, they build a foundation of trust and respect. This kind of communication is essential for navigating the complexities of intimate relationships. It's not just about ensuring that both partners are satisfied in the moment, it's about fostering a deeper connection that strengthens the relationship over time. This emotional closeness is what makes intimacy truly meaningful and satisfying. Moreover, the role of mutual respect cannot be overstated. In any intimate relationship, respect for each other's bodies, feelings, and boundaries is crucial. This respect creates a safe space where both partners can express themselves freely without fear of judgment. It allows them to explore their desires and needs openly, leading to a more fulfilling and harmonious relationship. When both partners feel respected and valued, the bond between them grows stronger, and their intimate experiences become richer and more satisfying. Understanding the nuances of physical and emotional arousal can also play a significant role in enhancing intimacy. Each partner's unique responses to different stimuli, whether they be physical touch, emotional connection, or even certain visual or auditory cues, contribute to the overall experience. By becoming more attuned to these responses, partners can create a more personalized and satisfying experience for each other. This understanding fosters a deeper emotional connection, which is often the key to a truly fulfilling intimate relationship. It's also worth noting that intimacy isn't just about what happens in the bedroom. It's about the connection that partners share in every aspect of their lives. The trust, respect, and communication that they build in their day-to-day -day interactions lay the groundwork for a healthy and satisfying intimate relationship. When both partners feel connected on an emotional level, their physical connection becomes even more meaningful. This holistic approach to intimacy is what ultimately leads to a deeper and more enduring bond between partners. Finally, it's important to recognize that every individual is unique, and what works for one couple might not work for another. Intimacy is a deeply personal experience, and there is no one-size-fits-all approach. The key is for partners to remain open, curious, and respectful of each other's needs and desires. By doing so, they can continue to grow together and explore new dimensions of their relationship, making it richer and more fulfilling over time.